Hey there guys, this is Andrew here, what is going on, and today it's time for another LEGO Extravaganza for November 2023, or at the very least it's called Extravaganza, Extravaganza, something like that, whatever it is, time for some LEGO content, I figured that we would do this in a nighttime setting because you guys like to see some of my Legos whenever they're a little bit dark, and so yeah, that's basically the purpose for what, or at least one of the purposes for what this video is going to showcase. So, you may have seen at least one of these uh, videos, but if not, I'll go ahead and explain it all. What I do for these Lego videos is I walk around my Lego city, talk about some of the uh, various things uh, that have changed and whatnot, and then after that I power on the cargo train, let it do a couple laps around the city, and then after that talk about some of the uh, various things that potentially could play take place uh, this month. So <clears throat> let's get started. So I have a couple things that I want to show on the south side of the city which is uh, this one right here, this cute little um, Land Rover exclusively from the UK. Uh, this one here is the um, 40650 Land Rover Classic Defender. I picked this up while my family and I were in the UK, so figured this would be a sort of nice touch. I know it's a little hard to see because of the Nighttime settings, but over time uh, the lighting will get better depending if I go back to daytime extravaganzas or whatever. So, for the grade crossing right here, there's a cantilever here as well as a AA battery box. And I originally had a CR2032, but uh, now I don't. I wonder where that actually went. So, proceeding forward, it uh, looks like two of my LEGO vehicles that are out on the street actually have some lights going on. Uh, this first one here is the city bus from the 60,026 Town Square set. Figured it would look pretty cool with the lights on the front and the back and having brought up lights I also tried something new uh, with the 60283 holiday camper van but uh, the batteries are going dead and that's basically because I used the same battery pack that was from the um, well to summarize uh, what was going on uh, I used the same battery pack that was from this grade crossing and I installed it in this um, camper van though I will have to replace the uh, batteries very soon uh, not much has changed with the traffic lights uh, for 3677 I got one car have to get it attached so we can get ready Brexit are loaded up, ready for its customers. Uh, not much else has changed on the north part of the city. Dark with only street lights as ever. So, I guess that summarizes everything. Yeah, see what I mean by batteries going dead? Yeah, I gotta <clears throat> swap out the batteries on the camper van. Batteries are doing good on the city bus. In fact, you can actually see the inside of said bus whenever it's lit up. Hmm. So, I guess that's enough um, talking about for what's going on in my city. Now we're gonna power on the cargo train. 
I'll let it do a couple laps clockwise around the city, and then after that, talk about some things that could take place this month. And one thing I forgot to mention in the city is that there's also a King Lever right there as well. I wonder what could that mean for the Lego Railroad Crossings taking place by the Lego City Railroad. Uh, but anyway, I know this one was kept kind of short, but my battery is about to die after whatever. God, I need a new camera. Um, <clears throat> but after the run by the cargo train, Rex and I are ready to be loaded for its customers. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the announcements that could take place uh, this month. So, first of all, no, I am not going to be Rail fanning, nor riding on the 611 from Goshen to Staunton, Virginia. And that's basically because my parents have spent so much money before we flew out to the UK. We spent so much money while we were in the UK. And now we're spending so much money after the UK trip. So I know it hurts for me that I am not going to be um, 
checking out the 611 from Goshen to Staunton, but fortunately, I will be um, in Point of Rocks on Saturday, November 4th for some potential rail fanning. I don't know how many trains will be coming on or off the old main line, but we'll just see whatever CSX activity there may be. And on the day after that, on Sunday, November 5th, I will be at the um, Montgomery County Fairgrounds for the um, model railroad display. And I'm thinking, hmm, if my parents are going to spend so much money after the UK trip, I don't know, I don't see a reason why I would be spending so much money when it comes to um, model trains. Although I'm going to be mostly focusing on focusing on the t-shirts and stuff like that, including a Union Pacific shirt that would replace the current one that I have, but um, just anything can happen when it comes to uh, potential replacements. It's like you gotta be ready for those. And there goes another battery. Just when I was about to say something. <sighs> well, before I close this off, I uh, hope you guys are going to um, uh, have a very happy Thanksgiving um, uh, that is going to be uh, taking place um, a few weeks from then. Um, just hope that um, uh, you guys are thankful for uh, your families and friends. Now, what am I gonna do on Thanksgiving? Well, I have no idea. Well, maybe visit Delaware, like Hoboth Beach, or check out the Philly Sub, or visit Pennsylvania for a day or two. Uh, but anyway, can't really uh, assume all that much. We can't make assumptions when it comes to making plans, but again, anything could happen. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. I uh, hope you enjoyed this month's LEGO Extravaganza. Again, I know this one was short, but my battery's about to die. Um, but I'm amazed it's still been going on after almost 13 minutes at the time this was recorded, but uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you uh, next month.